It's me, Jane. Sorry, it's been a couple of weeks. Uni's been insane, as it always is, generally. So, you know, um, almost holiday time, though. Yay! So exciting about that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm all puffed. I've just been dancing around my lounge room, as I do when I'm home alone and I'm avoiding uni assignments, or I just hear a really fabulous song. Which, speaking of songs, has everyone heard Katy Perry's new song last Friday night? Oh my gosh, it is so much fun! So I just danced around the lounge room to that song with my earphones in. That's why my hair is like a giant fluff ball at the moment. And yeah, you know, as you do. Um, oh, by the way, Jess, that's your towel over there. I still need to bring it back to you. So remind me at some stage when we're both together at work. So yes, <laughs> this vlog really has no point today because I just felt like vlogging for the fun of it. And yeah, so hi to everyone. Oh, but I did want to say something. So the other day, I went to Toowoomba. No, sorry, I was on my way to Ipswich to meet some of my Toowoomba friends. And as I was on the bus, this creepy sort of African guy kind of stalked me all the way there. I think he wanted to marry me. Which was really awkward because, yeah, he was weird and just kept smiling at me oddly. So I tried to deter him, but it didn't really work because I was reading this book, which is possibly the awesomest book I've ever read. But because I was reading it and he was like, oh, what are you reading? And I was like, stupid enough to give it to him. He read the back and then he just started telling me his life story. And I was like, I really, really don't care. Can you leave me alone? And yeah, anyway. So, eventually I got to ditch him. And that was exciting. <laughs> For me, anyway. I don't know about him. I think he was going to follow me. But lucky Lockie was there to meet me. So, thank you, Lockie, for that. Um, but yes, this book, I wanted to say, um, I've only read the first couple of chapters of it. It's called um, Half the Sky, How to Change the World. It's by Nicholas D. Kristoff and Cheryl Wooden. And... It is really, really awesome. It's about um, uh, like women who have been through oppression and really difficult times like trafficking and all that stuff um, over in Africa and Asia. And it's their like, recovery stories and stuff. And this, these authors have compiled their stories together. And it's really, really awesome. So if you want to have like, you know, your eyes opened and really want to expand your horizons, I would suggest this book. So go out there and buy it or find in a library or something because it's really, really cool. Or you can see me and ask me to borrow it after you after I've finished it. So, yeah, that's all I really want to say and I'm still really puffed out and still got all this energy from eating heaps and heaps of sugar. So I think I need to go run it off again. <laughs> so <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs> Hope you're all awesome and I'm really, really scary right now. So I'm going to leave. Okay, bye.